the next match now we got <clears throat> we got resident pr jersey legend lemon tea one of the most consistent players in new jersey in my opinion going up against marvelous marco the toon link player been making a name for himself quite a while throughout these wi-fi brackets able to use a character that you know he's going to be able to just flush himself with yeah, against lemon tea here gonna be a set he said a bracket that allows me to play toon link and all of these other people are slightly nerfed that's my stuff <laughs> hey same with lemon tea come on yeah, talking like this but guy has is kind of is kind of getting to work right now. Yeah, so, a little bit. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was actually really clutch right there. I mean, I'm actually a little surprised that Lemon T chose to recover high right there, even risk getting hit by that up smash, but I guess he knew the hitbox of the side B and the wolf flash was going to be able to beat that move out. Very ballsy option by Lemon T, but one that's going to allow him to survive a little bit longer regardless, though not without a 100% deficit. Yeah, definitely not without. Oh, this is not looking so great. Okay, yeah, Lemon T. Lemon T. Yeah. No, Lemon T lost his top first, but he was gaining a bit of momentum there. Let's see if he doesn't rack up too much damage on this stock. If he can just make a turnaround. Yeah, I think you know he can. I mean, Wolf is the kind of character who can rack up damage in his sleep if he's not too if you're not too careful dealing with him. It's I mean, well, at the very well, least. Marco has a lot of tricks. As you see, he was just off stage and he could have just died right there. So yeah. things are were looking really scary for Lemon T. It's not even just the tricks when it comes to his projectiles, you know? He's also got a little bit of a disjoint up close. So, you know, in terms of Wolf's aerials just sort of beating you out, I can totally understand that. But he has a little bit of the opportunity to keep at least a little bit of a distance. I mean, it's Toon Link. He doesn't have, like, you know, cloud-level disjoints or anything like that. But they are technically disjoints regardless. Like, right there, catching him above him with the F-Tilt. That's something that he has in this matchup. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that trade. Yeah, good delay from Lemon T. And 82%. Still, still doable to like rack up damage. As you see, Marco just trying to go for the balloon. You see, you're gonna see a lot of players today, chat, just trying to do those things. He's trying to go for the balloon for fun. <laughs> uh good old party favors, man. I love these guys just like going in for it like that. Like I mentioned before, there is a benefit to it though. It does count as a hit, so if you want a move to be weaker, hitting the balloon will help put it on the stale negation chart. If you want to have a move do a little bit less damage or have it combo. A little bit, uh, a little yeah. bit bigger, yeah. which I do Hitting believe is still blue. nine hits. Hitting blue also ch ch gets up your swag meter, so <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have a hidden swag meter in, in Smash, and it just builds up the more you hit the balloon. Is it like, is like the drip gonna come out when the yeah. meter is full? You're able to just like press like L and R at the same time, activate your drip special. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happens. <laughs> oh, somebody mod that in, please. <laughs> anyway, last stock for game number one, Marvelous Marco Lemon T. Ladies and gentlemen, getting double dashed, attacked Charlie Brown two times in a row. You know that's good damage for Wolf. Taking Marvelous Marco all the way up to 56. Yeah, no, Pretty good for him Mar right now. Marco was just struggling to get hit, but one bad landing by Lemon T just gets him upbeat for his troubles. Just a couple of pot shots on stage. Of course, transcendent projectile. Maintain that stage control. Keep Toon oh, Link at bay a little bit. Give him a taste of his oh. own medicine. That's I think, good. I would have had a heart attack. I thought he... So I think Marco either wanted to dare or thought he was going to land on stage with it. Uh, to like be he, honest with... Uh, please continue. Yeah, he thought he was going to change. No, it's here. To, you go. Yeah, I don't oh know, my man. God. It no. kind of looked like he was going for broke with it. Yeah. He, he might have been going for broke. Yeah, the way it seemed. I mean, he seemed just a little far enough away from the ledge to the point where I think he probably knew he wasn't going to attach right back to it. And even if he didn't realize that, he's a Toon Link player. He would definitely know that that's way too much of a risk to, like, throw away on your final stock right there if that wasn't what you meant to do. Like, he accidentally inputs down air in that situation. It's something he would have had, like, consciously. If you're a Toon Link main and you wind up doing something like that there, it's definitely on purpose. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of on purpose, these combos, is he dead? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a start from Marvelous Marco, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting on the platform, trying to get some sort of cheese afterwards. Reggie, can we talk about that combo for a minute? Yo, hey, the combo? Fire. 
Lemon tea stock, gone. The drip meter's full. The, the drip meter, it, it's... The that, drip that meter, full. <laughs> Another <laughs> balloon hit. Gone. Popped. Yo, drip, I should, I should, drip yeah. acquired. <laughs> I dropped that opportunity. I should have said pop. Yeah, Marvelous Marco's drip is definitely in full force right now. Rocking the, uh, rocking the dark, uh, young Link. Rocking the dark Toon Link right here and doing some mean work with it. And now you got some good old Smash 4 strategy, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Is this what you wanted to see from Return is, to Subspace? Camp for that back throw, boy. Camp for that back throw. Yeah, yeah. Kill this, this man at like 60. That's what I wanted to see too, my friend. Imagine if Paula was in bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I feel like Brawl Meta Knight would have destroyed her, but that's a discussion for another time. But he would have destroyed everybody. Uh, the character was broken. Yeet! Oh, no, Yeet! He was going for the pummeling. Trying to yeah. get a lot of damage. Maybe going for a grab release. Maybe he thought he was playing Brawl. Trying to go for, like, a grab release combo. Yeah, no, he definitely it was going for a grab release combo right there. For sure. <laughs> definitely. Calculated. Yeah, oh, speaking is. of calculated! The charts! Wow! Oh my god, Marvelous Marco. He he turned himself he, on. He's, he's having a fun time. He's definitely having a fun time today, Reggie. Are you having a fun time? No, I'm, I'm having a fun time. time. Marvelous Marco is having the funnest time out of them all. Up a whole stock over Lemon Tea. Turning it on after that after that failed uh what am I trying to say? After that failed kamikaze attempt at the end of that first game. Saying this is my main. Put some respect on his name. Well speaking of put respect on his name. Yo. Lemon Tea put some respect on mine! Yeah, that what's back here is no joke. No. Not at all. It's not funny. People call it an aerial smash attack for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's like Wolf's back air is not funny at all, man. It's not a joke. It's like it's like that scene in Joker. <laughs> you know, he just holds it up, no yeah. one's laughing. <laughs> Def the book. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's I, definitely I just... Wolf's back air. Marvelous Marco, right. how dominant he's been playing. Yeah. He might have it stricken away from him right here. Yeah, he was playing so casual. Like, he just had a good lead, and he's like, this is all mine. I'm okay. And now, now he just might lose this. Might. He's actually down in terms of percentage as well, and even in stocks on top of it. If he gets the tech chase, though, commits hard with the up smash, but he knew he was far enough where Wolf wouldn't have been able to run up with an up smash of his own. At least okay. maybe he did. Either that or he just committed. Yeah. Alright, trying to get a confirm off the boomerang. Fishing hard with his projectiles, Reggie. Yeah, I like the reflect right there. Waiting for the yeet! Oh! Ooh. I didn't even know that boomerang was coming back. No, I do combos with myself. I'm a Toon Link player. I'm always playing dubs. I'm always playing dubs. Oh, what a way to end the game. Let's take a look at this again right here, Reggie. You throw that. Oh my, from all the way over there? And Marco. he just waited. Oh, new. He was, just waited. No, pretty plan. Holy yeah. Snap. Hey, you're playing a you're playing a, one of the links. You know, in terms, you gotta gotta learn how to do some combos with yourself. God knows, no yeah. one else is gonna do them with you. That was really good, brain. It really was, man. Classic uh, Link stuff on the way back right there with the boomerang, knowing that that thing was going to come back, as it does, as a boomerang, and that he'd be able yeah, to combo boom. it. Boom. He banked on Lemon Tea forgetting. He banked on Lemon Tea forgetting about it. That's the crazy thing, you know? But, I mean, then again, he was stuck in the corner, had no real option but to hold yeah. shield right there because he got stuck in it at the beginning, so he might have just... He might have just picked a DD, a fierce DD, and prayed at that point. Very lucky that that worked out for him, but genuinely outplayed on the part of Marvelous Marco. Good stuff. And now we got ourselves a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the front flip? <gasps> okay. Mm. Yeah, that, and that does two frame. Yes. Plays in does, does, in fact, go through the stage. Doesn't matter what character you are, that thing will be popping up. No Bayo, no Wolf, no Uppies, no nothing. Got to be careful on that front. And got to be careful with your angles yeah. as well. Lemon Tea going straight up. That looked like a miss input to me. All right. Okay, missed his shield grab right there. Just thought he was a bit closer. Mm -hmm. But Lemon Tea's been down before. Oh, yeah. I've seen, I've seen this guy in way worse scraps than this. Like way, like way, like further, like deficits than he's been in before. I, I firmly believe he's one of the most consistent players in New Jersey in terms of like not only his results but his placings as well. 
in terms of rankings on top of everything. So if there's anybody who can bring this back, it's definitely Lemon T. Because he, he, uh, he, like Marvelous Marco, this isn't just the Brawl side event. He's playing his main right now. Both these guys are playing their main. So yeah. this, is, this is just a set. Oh, Balloon. Oh, he missed three times. Got it the fourth time. Got the Balloon. That's the important thing. That's, that's what's important. That's what, you got to build a swag meter. Yes. Got to build that swag meter. You definitely get more EXP on the swag meter for so, the Balloon. Some people may say your move might do slightly. Your next move might do more knockback. It's only a rumor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, be I believe it. There you go. Got right. that back air for it. Means the back air is a little... That's actually a good move to put on the chart to make it a little bit weaker. Because Toon Link's back air does combo into itself at certain percents if he's able to start a combo out of a throw. So that's actually a really good move to ensure is a little weaker to try and make sure you can get a second back air. Really smart of him to actually use that to hit the balloon rather than another attack. Yeah, good job. Good awareness from Really good awareness because, you know, this is unique. The balloon's never there in, like, normal events. It was me playing in this oh, right now. Is that up air pokes off the top? What in the What in the what in the taboo just happened? What in okay. the name of Master Hand and Taboo just happened, my friend? That was some wonky DI. Just did not catch caught Lemon T fully off guard yeah, right there. Yeah, you, you gotta collect your boy Lemon T right now. Yeah. You might have to. Back to Jersey, my friend. Spanish Kings out here. Not weeping just yet for the man, though. He's still in this down only one stock. He's a relatively high percent as well. And Toon Link's a light character. A little more in that featherweight category for sure, around the lightweight especially. Yeah. Around that middle range, uh, that around that sort of like middle ballpark for in between those two weight classes right there. So Wolf hits pretty hard. He's able to just run in with an up smash, which you know Lemon T is fishing Yo, for what, right what was he doing? Marco. It's just, just fighting air at some points. It's just like, I'm camping ledge, you know, might as well be swinging at something in the meantime, I suppose. Bait this guy like approach. <gasps> yeah, you can't do that. Nope. Got that Campbell's Chicken Noodle invincibility on the way up, man. I know you're going for that gimp, but you got to respect that move. Yeah, and this is where Lemon T made his comeback before. Marco just played, I wouldn't say played dumb, but just goofed around a bit, and Lemon T just brought it back. So, up tilt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Messed around and saw what happened. Second up air in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Marvelous Marco defeats Lemon T to advance. What the... Holding the pig. The pig of glory. The pig of glory. So, oh, I love it. I love that it. Plays, it now bro. plays DM. Oh. Wait, so... Yeah, DM's in winner's finals, is he not? Wasn't that winner's quarters? Yeah, that was one... He was winner's finals to get out of this pool. Oh, so, oh I thought I thought that was oh. so Marco versus DM in winter semis. 